All right, it's more amp time. Hello. This is my Princeton, which is a 61 or a 62. I've got all my brown face amps sitting here. These are all uh, reissues over here. Reissues or kits or whatever. Two kits, one reissue reverb. And this is my original Fender, which I got in Humboldt, Iowa in about 1976. Let's just have a look at that thing. I'm gonna like crawl over here and then we'll plug it in. So this guy is about 12 watts. And that's the brown face part of a, the amp, Princeton amp, Fender Electric Instruments. That means it's, uh, you know, Fender's original factory. It's got a volume, tone, speed, in it, and intensity. It's got a, uh, I believe it's a 10 inch speaker in here. It's been replaced many times. I don't even know what I got in there. Well, I, got, I do see a beer can. All right, get that out. A few spare tubes, and this is a warehouse 75 watt guitar speaker. I might want to change that. Probably got, yeah, it looks like RCA tubes. I'll probably change that speaker. Yeah, this thing's awesome. So we're gonna check him out. This one does not hum. So, what do we got? Oh, maybe we'll just go straight into the amp. Today is Les Paul test day. We're listening to the Les Paul through these Fender brown face units. My internet is horribly slow, so... Uh, it's taken all day to upload these. So here's like a... Uh, cool. Just a real flat, normal, regular sound. There's no, you know, overdrive or digital reverb or no built-in tuner. No fancy stuff, man. The only way it distorts is when you crank it which I'm not going to do because it will distort the camera. So there's that tremolo. pencil mark here between four and five when I play live that's about where I go playing in a bar with a drummer and that's with my Jaguar usually it's surf zombies either I'll take the Princeton or that deluxe I'll take a reverb and then I also have my deluxe reverb so I might run two or three amps and I'm starting to take that little uh, champ at the gigs too. So, you know, I might bring these three with a reverb tank and uh, that'd be cool. Just run them all three at the same time. Not too loud. Nice clear sound. Brown face, hand wired Fender amp. So, if I don't know if they make kits for these, um, but that if you're looking for a kit, a Princeton amp kit would be awesome. A brown face Princeton amp kit. You could probably get a schematic and have somebody build one for you too. If you find, if you look on eBay for a brown face Princeton, they'd be up in the $2,000, $2,500 range. I got this for about a hundred bucks. Um, I just thought, you know, I didn't think it was anything special. It was just a, 
a guitar amp. I didn't even know anything. And, you know, plug it in, tubes. Of course it's tube power. That's all I knew about. Plug it in, wait for the tubes to warm up and start playing. Eventually, when you crank it up, it really does roar. So, I should record this. But, uh, you know, in the studio. Put a mic on it, put on headphones, and just blast uh, but I just kind of like the normal clean sound. I practice a lot of just clean guitar, no effects. But the reverb is kind of uh, enchanting. I like the reverb. A little bit of tremolo. So when I play live, I'll have a little... Just a little touch of tremolo. And I'll use my volume controls to bring it up or down. Or... I'll play pretty soft for like normal stuff and when it's time to dig in, you know, I can hit it harder. So learning to play the amp with your hand versus just turn everything on 10 or blast your guitar. Turn your guitar down a little bit and turn the amp up and just see, see what it's like. Learn to soften up with your picking hand, lighten up. You got your super soft, medium soft medium, dig in a little harder, and then you got your extreme, you know, punch the string where you might break one. I don't really do that. I don't break strings live much, except our on our live stream, I did wear a string out, and it uh, started uh, kind of coming undone, going flat. So right now I'm trying to upload my live stream that we did Saturday night, so you might see that. And that's the Princeton. And there's the Deluxe, and there's the little Champ, and these are the kit amps. And my buddy Tony made this uh, cabinet and covered it with the Tolex. This is a Fender reissue reverb. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this little group of amps. So if I play live in a little bar, I take these three, that covers my area, and I'll just hook them up together and turn them up a little bit. Not too loud, not too quiet, just perfect. Small amps rule. Unless we're talking about my Marshall, which maybe we'll do that when I get it back from the shop here in a little bit.